Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Maxcotech. You are watching series Introduction to Graph Theory. In this video, we are going to be focusing on graph connectivity, what it takes for a graph to be connected. To understand graph connectivity, let us get ourselves familiarized with some more common terminologies. A walk. A walk is a sequence of vertex followed by an edge and it continues. So a walk in a given graph is starting from V1, going to V2, V3, then back to V2, then going back to V3, then V1, V4, and V5. Note that it's going twice from the edge E3. A trial is a walk that does not have common edges. So in the given example, the E3 edge is common in our above walk. By eliminating the second edge E3, we make a path traveling from V1, V2, V3, back to V1, and then V4, and finally V5. A path is a trial. It should not share common edge as well as common vertex. For that, we need to remove the edge E1 because it is allowing the vertex V1 to come twice in the way. So this time, our path is V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. A cycle is a trial with distinct vertices except the first and the last, which then makes up a loop. We will combine the first vertex V1 with the last vertex V5. Now it is easy to understand about the graph connectivity. A graph G is connected if all the pairs of the distinct vertices are connected by edges. So every vertex is reachable to every other vertex in the network. For example, the red dotted path shows the V6 is reachable to V5. If we cut the edge E2 or vertex V2 from the graph, we end up in an unconnected graph that contains number of components equals 2, green and blue. So the graph on the right is one single graph but it is unconnected with two components, such that each component is the subset of the original graph G. The graph connectivity indicates whether all nodes in a network can be reached from any other node. Taking an example of internet, where the goal is to stay connected even if it's under attack. For the reason of robustness, we are interested in finding minimal number of vertices or edges to remove before the graph falls apart. So a vertex cut is a vertex that, when it's removed, the component of the graph is incremented by one and an edge set is an edge that, when removed, increases the component of the graph by one. So let us understand these cuts including minimum vertex cuts and edge cuts in the next example. Here in the graph on the right, E1 is not the minimal edge cut because the path still exists between V1 and V5. V3, V1 and V4 is also not the minimum vertex cut because G is still single component consisting of two vertices V2 and V5 with an edge E5. So the vertex cut in this example is V2. So if we remove this, we will end up in two components of the graph. And the edge cut here is E5. The minimum vertex cut is one and the minimum edge cut is one as well. So what it takes to be connected? A connectivity is a measure of fault tolerance and the point is to measure the degree of the connectivity. One motivation of this is if you think of the graph as indicating a communication network where vertices are data centers that are sending and receiving data and an edge corresponds to having some kind of a channel or a cable between adjacent data centers. The connectivity is the measure of how many of our channels or cables can go down and still have the property that every data center of the information can communicate with every other data center of information. So how many connections can fail but without cutting off the communication? For the vertices to be K edge connected, by looking at the example V2, V5, V4 and V5 are one edge connected by removing the edge E5. In fact, in this example, V1, V2, V3, and V4 are all one edge connected with V5. 
by an edge E5. And V3 and V4 are two edge connected because we have to remove edges E3 and E4 in order to make them disconnected. Same goes for V4 and V1 by edges E4 and E2. For a graph, it's k edge connected if its component is increased by 1 whenever fewer than k edges are removed. So a given graph is one edge connected by E5. The edge E5 is also known as the bridge which by removing we will end up in two components of the graph. If we modify the graph a little and add two more edges E6 and E7, then this graph is three edge connected by E5, E6 and E7. That is all we are going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please share them down in the comments below. And if this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to like, share and do subscribe if you are new to this channel. So see you in the next one. Take care.